Today I am going to explain how to restore a permanently deleted Terraform state file. In first place, we should prevent such events. If your state file is kept in S3, enable versioning so that even if someone accidentally deletes a state file, we can restore it using its previous version. And also you can leverage uh, having same copy in a different bucket in different region using S3 cross region replication. So those things we can do to prevent. But in interviews, what they're asking is, let's say it is permanently gone. Now, what will you do? How will you handle this situation? Is there a way we can regenerate state file? Answer is yes we can regenerate a state file. Let's go and see how to achieve that. So this is uh, the code I have written, which has provider, VPC and subnets. Let me open terminal. Let's go ahead and create these resources. Let's say Terraform apply or to approve. Because right, I want to create a state file for these two resources. Something is wrong. Okay, my internet is off. Let me fix this. Yeah, let me retry this. Yeah, so it's going to create two resources. Perfect. Now what I will do, I will go and delete a state file. The concept is same whether your state file is in local or S3. Let's go ahead and delete this file. So it is permanently gone. When state file is permanently deleted, we should also understand what happens if we try to apply. Do you know what happens? It is going to recreate all those resources, but that I don't want, correct? If I can retrieve or regenerate state file, my entire application state is not disturbed. The solution to this is, I mean, before going into the solution, let me run plan command and show you what it does. See, two resources are still there in AWS account, but because it is missing in the state file, it is saying it is going to create again, right? So to avoid this, I want to regenerate a state file. In order to regenerate a state file, I'm going to use import command. We also can use import blocks. I will cover both. I'm in AWS console. I want to import VPC first, copy VPC ID. Come back to Visual Studio Code. use terraform import first argument is the resource type dot its name aws underscore vpc dot main second argument is vpc id import command goes to aws locates this vpc with this id gets its details and populate that information in a state file enter and notice it has created a state file and it has updated state file with VPC details. Similarly, I want to import subnet as well. Let's try that. Let's go to subnets. Uh, it is subnet one. Yeah. Select this. Copy its ID. run terraform import command again for subnet first argument is resource type dot name second argument is the subnet id let's say you have 100 resources in your application you must do this for 100 resources only then the entire state file gets recreated and in recent version of uh, terraform 
it has introduced import blocks see this i'm able to manually run generate the state file let's say i want to do this in production i may want to execute this through some ci tool like jenkins i can't go and run those commands right one after one so what we can do is add these details uh, inside terraform project itself using import blocks let me show that so let me add those blocks in the same file but feel free to keep it in your own file i mean you can create a separate file and put those import blocks in that file it's your wish import to let me first do it for uh, uh, vpc and the id just a second let me copy vpc id have it here likewise repeat it for subnet get subnet id i mean to say instead of running import commands one after one create one uh, tf file something like import.tf file in that add all these blocks and do apply so now you may have 100 resources you have written 100 import blocks now just commit this to gate or any version control system let's say now jenkins picks that and does terraform apply what happens now the state file gets automatically generated so this is how we can uh, retrieve a state file which is permanently deleted thank you for watching